This is this is uh this is gonna be an interesting video. This is gonna be one crazy video. Let me tell you. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. This is gonna be one crazy video in my eyes, anyways. I'm gonna be doing a couple things. First off, wild card. We got a new season yesterday and went ahead, completed all 15 levels. So we're gonna talk about the rewards. We're gonna open up the rewards, but also inside of the pack market, I've been looking through the packs for the last 24 hours. Haven't really decided what I wanted to do. Honestly, I was looking over here. I was looking at Supernatural Choice Pack. Take a look at the odds. The odds to all of these, uh, the packs just are not worth it. If you're thinking about opening packs, I think we both know it's probably a bad idea. However, I tell you guys that, but I'm going to do something crazy today. 600000 for a BND Fantasy Hockey Pack. That is just... The fact it's a BND. The fact BND is even a thing, as I say every video, I... Uh, Oh my goodness, it's tough. That's tough. Um, but I'm going to open one. Now we got 537,000 up there. That is not enough. But in yesterday's video, I got a Timo Solani. And although my team couldn't really, really need him, I've decided to remove him from the lineup today. And I'm going to go ahead and sell him. We're going to do that pack. All right. And as we wait for Timo Solani to sell to open up that fantasy pack, let's go to wild card really quick. We go to the wild card path. Now for the wild card path, man, I just, I feel like they're holding back so much. You do pick up 16,000 coins throughout the entire path. That's decent. But for the packs, you get a couple of random 70 OVR player rewards. You get a random 76 here. You do pick up three fantasy hockey collectibles, which is nice. You pick up a couple supernatural tokens, two of them. And at the very end, the X-Factor Series 1 player choice back, which is really nice, man. Today, I'm going to be opening my very first X-Factor captain choice pack. So I'm going to get a good player today. This must have came from an XP path. Let me open this first. And we have, oh, we got two X-Factor. Yeah, two X-Factor packs. Let's go. Reveal all. I already have Drysdale. I have Line A. Um, let's stay Kemper, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to open these. I'm definitely going to edit that out. So just keep in mind, I opened up three fantasy hockey collectibles and two of the supernatural tokens. And that is the last one. Timo Solani has not sold yet. So we have these two wild card packs. Let's open these. Maybe we get something, right? Maybe we get extremely lucky. Wrong. We get a 71. Listen, you can finish wild card in one sitting, but it's not like it only freaking takes an hour. You know, it's a good bulk of time still. I don't get a damn thing out of those. Holy. Now I have the two. Now I have these two X Factor Series 1 player choice packs. Again, I'm going to be doing my first captain pack in this video. I don't know who I'm taking yet, but I will be back in 30 minutes. I got to open this pack. You know, with how bad my memory is, I probably should have went into the collection and made sure I'm taking the right guys. I hope I took the right ones. Let me look at, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at my lineup. My lineup isn't anything too crazy. Who we take here is really going to matter. I mean, I can take a left-handed defenseman. I mean, maybe? No, I can't take defense. I got to take somebody on offense, right? We just got rid of Timo Solani, like a right-handed person. All right, so we're going to hop into X-Factor sets. I can finally do this. And the crazy thing is, this is the end goal of it all, to get Connor McDavid. I'm going to get one of these guys right now. So I'm only 25% of the way towards Connor McDavid X-Factor. That is... That just ain't right. And there we go. We're going to say bye-bye to them all. Complete set. See ya. Unopened packs here. X-Factor Series 1. Captain's Choice Pack. The very first one of the year. Let's go. Officially 25% of the way there. And the cool thing is when you do the, the Connor McDavid set, you do get two of these guys back. You get a Choice Pack. You get to take two of them. So that's cool. Kucherov, tempting, Haskinen, left-handed defenseman. I mean, I could use one, I guess. But I I don't know. I'm thinking Nylander. Nylander. We'll see. Hold on. Hold on. We got Adam Fox as well. He's really, really fast. I think Nylander is going to be the move. He goes up to 91 on acceleration and speed. That's wicked. So does Nylander, though. Nylander is six foot nothing, 202 pounds. Kucherov always really good in this game. Aiskinen, I mean, I like all of them. I like them all. Elite edges on Aiskinen. Nylander's got a zone ability of elite edges too. I think I'm taking Nylander 100%. I need a right-hander too. After getting rid of uh, Timo Solani here. There we go. We're going to have to put Nylander on that line one with Austin Matthews as well. That's cool. Add in 83. I don't have an X-Factor token. Not yet. 
I guess. Um, I can also pay 15,000 coins, but I am waiting for that Team Solani to sell to do that fantasy pack here in a second. So that is what the team is looking like. I think that's a huge update. Also, Nathan McKinnon, I did build. Usually like him out on the left wing, but how the team is built right now, I got to put him at that center spot. I don't think I've ever taken a three-hour pause in a video. Team Solani would not sell. I'm back. And that entire time I was gone, I had dinner, I did a couple of things, and the entire time I was like, yo, you probably shouldn't do this, man. This is 600,000. This is a 600,000 coin pack. You're putting everything you have into this one pack because you want in on some action on the fantasy event. This is a huge mistake. So we get Nita Ryder. He's got close quarters as a zone ability. Last year, he did have 18 goals. If he did that again, that would put him up to a 94. Right now, this year, he's got zero in four games. Means he's about to score. He's about to get hot here, right? Uh, I don't know. He had 24 in 2021, 2022, Carolina. Just need 23. Give me 23 goals. He goes up to a 99. It's one overall per goal. If you didn't know that, that's how the fantasy hockey event works. I don't know. I'm happy I did it. I think, no, am I? With it being a BND card, my question would be if he gets hurt tomorrow, the day after, the day after that, uh, can we trade it into a set of some sort? Uh, the answer would probably be no because it's a BND. I'm a little worried about that, but I don't know. Was that a good decision? Let me know.